Ralph. So, actually, we're interchangeable. See, I, I put them in order so I can figure out where I'm going next. Okay. And, uh, and, and Bob, Becker. Bob Becker. And Bob Becker. Hi, Bob Becker. Hi. Kurt Kelly. I just got to get a piece of paper here. You can stay if you'd like. I will in a minute. Okay. okay. Are we ready? Do we have speed? <laughs> well, now, that brings a whole new meaning to this convention. I'm Kurt Kelly for Live Video Inc. and Actors Reporter. We're with Philip Hopkins, who's the president of Film Chest Media. Is that how you would say it? Film Chest Media Group. Media Group. And Ralph E. Stevens, who's also the president. Hold on. How do you get two presidents with the same company? Uh, we're co-presidents. It doesn't say that on the card. It's so confusing to me. We're, we're interchangeable. In fact, his daughter asked him before he came here, she said, Papa, are you going away with your friend Phil? He said, well, Shana, like, what are you talking about? He's Phil. He said, uh, like, I'm Ralph. And where's Phil? She said, I've never met Phil. You, you know, I hear him on the phone and everything. Like, would you please tell him that I want to meet him? He said, well, Shana, you know, Phil's my partner. He's the president. He said, I thought you were the It's so confusing. We're interchangeable. Interchangeable. Yeah. Have you guys thought of starting your own show? Uh, yeah, actually, um, we're, we're, th we're actually thinking about doing a show called Film Hunters because that's what we are. We, we have a warehouse in Connecticut just north of New York City. It's about 50,000 square feet where we store film and we do film transferring and restoration. So we get in some interesting situations acquiring and looking for film. So is this films of all genre or are you looking for a certain era and type? I would say there's not a single genre that we do not have in our warehouse. <laughs> Impressive. Yeah, I think we have some of your home movies, actually, from your uh, early days as a uh, little kid in Knickers, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I, I, I was wondering where those ended up. And, and it's Oran, is that correct? That's correct, Oran. Oran Turner. Oran Turner, who is with Digital Media. How did you get so lucky to be with these guys? Well, um... I got lucky because uh, yeah, yeah, lucky. Lucky's the the key word there. They found me. I was I was homeless and uh, <laughs> I was I was I was I was yeah exactly. I was I was I was uh, selling DVDs on on the corner and they said come join us. But um, no, it's 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 through through the business. Um, we we go on and operate the digital lab on the West Coast uh, facilities to uh, facilitate digitizing and coding and digital asset management for uh, the Film Chess Group as well as our, our East Coast lab that does the film restoration um, there. So we've 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 been working together now for almost three years and it's been just a great relationship. We cover the entire United States and do our distribution uh, international and domestic. Now. Uh this convention this year, how is this different for each of your companies versus previous years, aside from the fact it's not in Las Vegas this year, it's back in Miami? You know, it's interesting. Um, I, I have to say this year is a little slower, but you know, we get a steady flow of business. What we do is we set up all our meetings beforehand. So we have, you know, and we leave little slots where we can fill in some walk-in meetings. So we're always very busy. So every show, it's the same thing. We're very busy. We usually come to the shows and meet all of our clients because they're all here, you know, pre-existing business. But we do, we do very well with the shows. So who would your clients be? Are we talking domestic, mostly international, cable, terrestrial? Where are your outlets? All over the world. Yeah, all of the above. And that's the great thing about the technology is that with IPTV, with the internet, we have customers you know, streaming videos all over from here to Japan. And what's great is because we have a lot of content that is specialized as classic movies, this is the kind of stuff that is evergreen. It will be around forever. There's always going to be someone who discovers reefer madness. There's always going to be somebody who wants to see a cult movie that they thought was interesting and unique. And you know, In some ways, it's more entertaining for us to sort of repurpose the classic movies and to deal with new production. And we do film restoration, we do film preservation. And uh, so you come into the booth, you see the old movie posters. Uh, we're very passionate about it. Uh, we like the content. Some of our clients are, you know, like Turner Classic Movies, American Movie Classics. And uh, you see a lot of this content, you know, if you're watching those channels. And now we're actually building our own sort of emerging internet channel that eventually filmchest.com will be streaming these movies and promoting what we're actually acquiring and talking about these new discoveries that we're finding in attics and basements and garages all over the place. Yes, yeah, so you can find our movies in Africa, Asia, Middle East, Eastern Europe. You know, we've done deals with so many different countries, right, South America. How are things different this year for your company? Um, 
Well, because the uh, technology is emerging, digital delivery is, is now becoming the norm. Um, it's a lot easier for us to talk in those terms in previous years because in previous years we were doing a lot of educating uh, as far as our customers are concerned. But this year it's, it's well, you know, can you do it? Yes, we can. Uh, what technology is this is what we use? Great. There's a connection. They understand it. And so it, it's, it's a lot easier. It's a lot more fun. Um, uh, it just makes it, it, just, makes it that, just that much smoother. Yeah. So what would be, of all these attic titles you've been collecting over the years, what would be some of your top ten titles that we might have seen somewhere on planet Earth? Well, <laughs> probably, if, well, put it this way, if, if, you're, if you're following the sort of obscure genre of cult movies, uh, there's a film in our collection called Carnival Magic, which was meant to be a children's film, which was produced by one of our film collector, film curators, Elvin Feltner. And he tried to make a family film. He ended up making a film which looked more like a sort of crazy film with chimpanzees and violence and sex and everything else. And he rated, somehow he was able to get a G rating. So recently, this, this film is considered to be one of the most obscure lost films of all time. Uh, we found his own movie, which had been sitting in a Florida warehouse for about five or 10 years. And we took it's it on the road. conditioning, by the way. <laughs> and we were able to- You can only to imagine the condition. That's true. It actually it, it smelled like your sneakers from like the, oh the last time you were. Oh, he got personal on you. But we were able to get okay. the film released theatrically again, and we brought Elvin, who's in his 80s, to the screenings, and he promoted it. We had all these hipster kids, you know, get autographs signed, and we released the film as a Blu-ray disc, and it's actually done pretty well. It was on Turner Classic Movies Underground recently, and it has a whole. So a lot of these films have a a culture of film fans that sort of like to discover their films and they're very passionate about these often obscure movies and curios of the past. Yeah, in our warehouse we have a lot of films that would be considered like lost films because we we bring in content from labs that have closed down. We have uh, we manage libraries for people that don't even know what's in their own library. Yeah so we, we literally have pallets of films, like, you know, probably 50 pallets of films that we in our warehouse that we haven't even opened the pallets yet. So we have, like, a lifetime of sc scanning and restoration to do. <laughs> and are you still acquiring titles for your company? Always, yes. Always looking for content. Anyone has content, we're looking for it. Are you looking for content for your company, or how does it work in your... Well, content is our customers, so, you know, as far as looking for it, yes, 24-7, all the time. Um, and like I said, because the reach is, is global now, it's, it's, it's bringing countries together, if you will. Um, a lot of content that might not have a home here in the States is, is popular all over. Uh, so it's, it's, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. So new media, while it poses a threat certainly to local channel XYZ, um, and that wasn't necessarily in Detroit, uh, but for the local channels, it may be posing um, an eroding audience. New media through the internet and streaming is growing audiences immensely. How will that impact your business model? If, if anything, it uh, expands our business model. I mean, for us, you know, we're, we're working with digital files, so the more platforms we can run it through, the more eyeballs we can put it in front of, the better for us. So for us, you know, there's no new technology that's a threat to us at all. If anything, it all spells opportunity. So even handheld devices, Androids, iPhone, whatever, you embrace it. We're, yeah, we're doing a deal with everybody. Yeah. Do you want to do a deal? <laughs> sure, we'll talk about that when this isn't rolling. Let's make a deal. <laughs> yes, I want to get those old videos back that you found. And how is new media impacting your models? Well, new media impacts my model for the simple fact that uh, it just gives me a greater customer, customer base. Um, you know, one of the things that we say, you know, with digital distribution, digitize once, distribute many. Um, the more aggregators that come online with their specific codecs and formats and delivery methods, that's just another opportunity to take that one asset that we've digitized and deliver it to that new content aggregator. Um, for our company especially, it's, 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 again, it's what we were built for. And that's exactly, you know, our space. Uh, we've delivered content to the likes of, you know, Hulu, Netflix. Uh, we've delivered content internationally, digitally for our clients. Uh, whether we're talking TV3, Viacom, Viacom South Africa, India. We've touched a lot of countries, a lot of cities within these countries, and it's all through, you know, digital distribution and digital management. So it's, it's, it's right in our, our bailiwick. That's, that's our sweet spot. 
Now, a lot of companies have the um, no solicitation uh, of new projects where they can't solicit you. Is that true with your company or can people bring their projects to you and say, hey, we'd like to work with you to expand our audience base? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm approachable. Like I said, we met these, we met these guys. And like I said, when I was selling uh, DVDs, I wouldn't tell them on the street corner. But the point of the matter is, but the point of the matter is, is, is that uh, you know, as an entrepreneur, um, I'm hungry. I'm always looking for opportunities. When you work with companies that are trying to put their products out there, there's a need. I have a service. Uh, we have the technical know-how. We have the experience, especially through our distribution portals with Film Chest. Um, it's a soups to nuts solution set. So it's not just about just digitizing and coding and digital asset management. It's about distribution. It's about monetization. So we're, we're definitely open and uh, ready to, 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 to help anyone out. Now this is something for, for both companies. Um, will you guys get into new projects with co-productions? Um, well, with us, we're always open to any proposition, really. And, and you know, go, going back into the whole digital space, because we have like bulk content, uh, what happens is people come to us if they want to do a beta launch. And let's just say, you know, like um, Voodoo. When Voodoo wanted to launch, we worked with the president of Voodoo, Tony Morantz, and he came to, he had no content. And he needed content. So you're going to go to the major studios and they're going to say, <clears throat> well, who do you have on board? How much content do you have? When the answer is, I don't have anyone on board yet, I don't have any content, you know, there's no meeting. So with us, he was able to bulk up, I think we gave him uh, 900 titles. And then he used that to go to the second tier. Once he locked in the second tier, he was able to go to the first tier. So really, uh, through us, Voodoo was able to kind of get off the ground and get started. And then, you know, the rest is history. It sold to Walmart. And so, so, you know, we're, we're integrated into the whole digital marketplace very tightly. Very nice. And you? Um, well, again, when, when, you look at, when you look at the proposition of, you know, content aggregators, um, I'll, I'll use I'll use Synergy Entertainment for example. Um, okay, right here. I mean, on my Kindle Fire, this is some of the titles that Film Chess has put out in in, right. in new media. Um, Amazon. All right. So you have your Amazons, you have your Voodoo's, your Boxies, your your uh, iTunes, your Netflix, your Hulu's, and then you have all the different broadcasters that are coming online. The free TV, um, IPTV. I mean, it's it's. This is the wave, and, and as far as, again, like we were saying earlier, we're, we're entirely open uh, for getting on projects because at the end of the day, it's going to have to go out to as many eyeballs as possible. And if we can get that project launched and, and get it off of the ground and, and be a part of a, you know, an exciting project, yeah, we're, we're definitely open for it, definitely open for it. Thank you for your time today. I really appreciate it, gentlemen. Okay, I'm Kurt Kelly for Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc., and we'll be right back after this. Thanks.